know, I had to get on there real quick, make this video real quick, man. I, I just went to this corner store that my lady normally go to in the morning after dropping my kids off to daycare. She usually go to this, this corner store where they serve breakfast in the morning, you know, uh, whatever you want, wraps, wings and fries, stuff like that, burgers, subs, you know, a hood, a hood corner store. So I go there today without my lady trying to surprise her, go get her some wings or whatever, whatever. Drop my kids off. I go to the store. You know, I got. I pull up to the store. I got um, my mask in the car. You know, you like, you can't go nowhere without masks or whatever. You know, it's early in the morning. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yo, I get in the building. You know, everyone in the store. It's like maybe five or six people in the building. Uh, in in the in the corner store. They all wearing masks or whatever. You know, I go in. I try to order the wings. You know, I don't see the the, the, the guy that normally deals with the food. I don't see him. So I had to get one of the hijabs, you know, the A-Raps, the Ahmas. I had to get them from the counter and tell them, you know, I wanted to get some wings. Meanwhile, it's a lady. Mind you, she's Caucasian, white. I'm not racist or nothing like that. Just had to point it out. This lady's, I heard I heard somebody say something and I turned around and I said, what? And then she's like, oh, yeah, they, they can get fined for that. And I'm like, what? She's like, and I'm like, oh, there's something about a mask. Oh, and I turn around, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm the only one in the building without a mask on. Like, I'm not even for the B. I just want to, I came in here to place my order for 10 wings and fries. That should only take me 30 seconds. And then go right back outside of the building and sit and wait in the car. Like, but of course, white people, no one else in the store said everything. Everyone in the store is black. Mind you, this is a black community. Like, why are you even here in the first place? You're the only one in the store that's white besides the hijabs behind the register. You know, they own every fucking corner store in the hood but she had to say something you guys can get fined if that guy's not wearing a mask but you tell you you'll whisper that behind my back to somebody but you won't say it to me like you scared i'm gonna give you the virus or something the coronavirus oh that guy's not wearing a mask uh, even if, if if he has a virus he's gonna give it to everyone in here bitch you're old you're like 60 something years old it's 10 o'clock in the morning you're in a corner store buying beer. I'm looking at what she's buying. She's buying beer and cigarettes. And she think I'm offending her by not coming into the store with a fucking mask on for a virus that's not even going to kill you. Like, AIDS kill more people than this virus. Strokes, heart attacks, diabetes killing more people than fucking coronavirus. All y'all motherfuckers is on this coronavirus shit and it's social distance. Like, y'all motherfuckers were washing y'all hands before. Now, all of a sudden, everybody's running around with masks and gloves on. Like, I work for I work for the government. I work in a government facility. I work for the 2020 census. I'm going to build it all day with masks and gloves and hand sanitizers and wash your fucking hands. Like, I've been a clean person since I came on my mom. Boom. But this lady felt like I was offending her. Not, not None of the other six, seven people that was in the store. But she had to say something. Like she was going to put put me in my place. But not to my face, to somebody else. Like she was expecting the, the A-Rap to kick me out of the store. He didn't. He wanted my money. So he was trying to take my order. But I told him, I'm like, you know what? You're not going to say nothing to her. Like... This lady didn't mind her own business. Nobody else in the store said nothing. You shouldn't care if you have your mask and your sanitation and all this stuff on. Like I don't, I, and I don't get it. Like y'all, y'all swear black people are so dirty and can so diseased, but y'all come to our communities, to our corner stores to buy up our shit. I don't understand that. And again, like you don't know people. You don't know what the fuck I just did. You don't know where I came from. Like I just could have stepped out of heaven, but you got an opinion. You whispering to people behind my back about. Me not coming in the store with a fucking mask on. Like that's gonna be the worst part of your day. You could pull out of this out of this parking spot in this corner store and get hit by a car. There's more people died of car crashes this year than a fucking coronavirus. So y'all motherfuckers stop acting stupid, all this fear mongering, this, all everybody being scared of this shit for no reason. Let it if it gonna come, it's gonna come. But all these people being scared for no reason is gonna cause more people to get their feelings hurt. Cause it's it could have went either way. If I'd have felt that could have been any other nigga in the hood, if he would have felt disrespected by that lady, fuck a coronavirus, she would have took some bullets. Or she would have got cussed out. Like I was start, I was gonna start to cuss out, but I said nothing. I'm like, I'm looking at him like, lady, it's 10 o'clock in the morning and you're buying beer, but you're worried about a cold that might not even kill you. 
you don't even know you offending me right now. I had a liver transplant. I had to lift up my shirt and show her, show her how my stomach, a big ass cut on my stomach for my liver transplant. So you think I'm offending you by not coming into the store with a mask on, but you don't know you're greatly offending me buying beer at 10 in the morning. Me being a liver transplant patient witnessing this shit. Liver disease kills more people than a fucking coronavirus. Look it up. Do your statistics. Yeah, like we in the quarantine and whatever. We, we, you know, nobody want to get sick. But realistically, how many people do you know personally in your family or friends or people that you've heard of have died? And if it's really that serious, how many niggas I know that I went to school with that I grew up with done died this year? I know more people... That I know more people that have died this year than I went to school with the people that I know that got killed by coronavirus this year. And that's just facts. So I'm just being me. I've always been a clean person. I got masks. I got hella, like, I, I, I was in the hospital six months ago. So when they fucking let me go, I, I left the hospital with a bunch of medical supplies. So I have mad medical supplies in my house right now. But doing eight hours a day, ten hours a day at a, at a, in a government facility, all locked up and shit. Like, not saying that, oh, that gives me a reason to walk into a public area or whatever without a mask on or whatever. But come on now. Y'all motherfuckers wasn't watching. Y'all was the, some of the nastiest people before this shit. Like, let's 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 do our history. Let's, let's not jump back overseas to London and the UK and all that shit when the Black Plague came through and killed a hundred or between a hundred million and two hundred million people. Like, let's get real. Y'all motherfuckers weren't washing your hands before back then. Now, all of a sudden, now uh, y'all hear coronavirus. Y'all want to, y'all being funny, want to call it the, Chi the Chinese disease and all this shit. Like, y'all motherfuckers should have, like, been clean before. Like, I don't understand. Like, I wake up every morning and wash my ass. Go to sleep every night and wash my ass. I know I've been out, outside all day. I don't, I don't get people that come home all day and they go straight to sleep before they wash their ass. Like, you know, you've been out all day. You got the sweat of the day, the dust of the day, the sediment of the day, all this on you. And you're going to go straight to bed and just roll around in your bed for eight hours or however much sleep you get and just rub all the dirt off on your bed. So you're basically laying and rolling around in sweat, dirt, and mud for eight hours. Because you you like to take baths in the morning. That don't make sense. Like shit like that to me, that's that's filthy. Like I think about shit like that. Like I bathe before I lay my lay my ass down in my clean ass bed. Why the fuck would I roll around in the day's filth in my bed and then try to wake up in the morning and take a bath? Like come on, man. Why you think I'm offending you? You think I'm being nasty? No, bitch, you look nasty. You 60 something with a stomach hanging over your belly and you fucking, fucking ordering a six pack of beer at 10 in the morning. You could have just mind your own damn business. Worry about a damn virus. These people got here getting killed. More than they got more shit to worry about than a damn virus. Everybody locked up in a house and everybody got these fucking opinions. Wanna come out to the corner store and you got an opinion. Wanna go to McDonald's and got an opinion before that. Literally, I just remember this. Literally 15 this shit happened like 10 minutes ago. 15 minutes before that, I pulled up the Burger King to get my kids some breakfast. Cause I usually 